Hey guys, TJ Lawn here. And sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. I was out last night and uh, in the club and speaking loudly to people when there's loud music playing, uh, take the toll on your voice. So sorry if I sound a little grainy. Um, but today's video, I want to talk about ways to get inspired when you're starting a track. Uh, I've been having some conversations with some people in the comment section and uh, uh, email and stuff like that and sort of asking, you know, I always think about put producing songs first like how do i get out of that frame of mind like i'm always um trying to get the perfect kick or trying to get the perfect snare or stuff like that first and with that i feel like you're coming from a frame of mind of like i need to produce something when you haven't got anything written yet and this is like a bit of a loop you get into you can definitely write and finish music um just by producing and just being a producer but at some point you're going to have to be a writer as well and write music and or do something artistic right i suppose so i just want to talk about some things i think about when i think about creating like a vibe or a theme or an emotion or a story um and those are sort of some keywords i want uh, want you to take away from this because those are sort of like how i think when uh, i sit down to write a piece of music you know it's the same as i when i would do these youtube videos i have like a theme or an idea that i want to express or talk about rather than it just being like super high quality everything looks flashy and cool it's got all the pop-ups and stuff like that which is more of like the technical marketing side of youtube which i i don't really bother with as you know i just like to talk about a topic uh, and i think music can be done the same way um when you stop thinking about it in terms of like production and mixing and processing at least at the start obviously that stuff's important later but um at the start you, you need to write a track right you need to write something so going into forms of inspiration for that one thing i've done is looked at um things from my childhood that either were really exciting or cool or interesting or even things that were traumatizing and sad um, like being bullied in school or you know a parent dying but you know some people would have definitely gone through some traumatic experiences and you know you can definitely pull from that energy and write something about it. One EP I wrote uh, a few months ago was uh, called Restless Dreams. And it was about, uh, it was all themed around Silent Hill. Silent Hill is like a horror game that I played as a kid. It's leg legendary horror game. You should definitely check it out if you've never played it and if you're into horror games. But I wrote an entire EP just using ideas and sounds from uh, that game. Now I did sample some of the sounds from the original soundtrack, but mostly just came up with my own ideas but it was all based around like you know demonic energy and serial killers and stuff like that so it was very dark and gloomy and uh, uh twisted and violent sounding um it was very very creepy and dark as well very psychological almost and you know you can listen to that and like the mix on it is pretty awful not gonna lie <laughs> i'm not a very good mixing engineer uh, and when I, when I uh, mixed this, it was so experimental for me. Uh, I didn't know how to mix it properly. I didn't have any reference tracks, for example, because it's so out there. But I showed those tracks to people. They were like, wow, this is really, really interesting. This is different. I've never heard anything like this. They're very creepy, dark textures. And because I was coming from that, that sort of theme of like, oh, you know, everything has to fit into that sort of box of it being silent hill esque it has to have these creepy sounds it has to have these dark and moody sounds and stuff like that it has to be ambient instead of coming at it from like i need a big kick drum or i need a snappy snare or i need a crispy hi-hat i wasn't thinking like that i was just thinking how do i make like twisted demonic sort of hi-hat rhythms how do i make you know janky uh creepy snares and, and how do i make like these dark moody kick drums and how do i add all those little effects to it and stuff like that um, so one thing I actually did before I started writing that EP, but I didn't know I was going to write this EP. I just, uh, I just kind of like really was into Silent Hill as a kid. And I, I looked up some stuff uh, before I wrote the EP. I was like looking at YouTube videos, looking at the original soundtrack. I was reading like the lore about the game, like how the characters develop on the wiki page and stuff like that. I was getting really, really immersed in the, uh, the sort of like culture or the, or the development of the game, I suppose. And then when I sat down to write, I was kind of like, cool, let's see what happens. And I ended up writing these really, at least I think they're really awesome, creepy sounding uh, tracks that, uh, you know, I really like them, but they're just badly mixed. So yeah, I mean, the takeaway from this is definitely to take inspiration from things in your childhood is a, is a really easy way to find some magic, you know. Another thing you can think of is like, what's a really exciting thing you used to do as a kid? Like, 
maybe you know every friday your dad would take you to mcdonald's and then you go to the arcade or something and that was like a really awesome experience like what would be the soundtrack to that you know you and your friends would always play the same games at lunchtime at school or something like that you know what's the soundtrack to that and stuff like that and it's going to have a deep emotional resonance to you because it was your experience or something very whole very dear to you it's not just going to be you trying to replicate or emulate um a big house track or something like that right but like i need the big kick drums like no you're just gonna um, you're just gonna end up emulating and instead you really want to pull stuff from your experiences and the thing is if you do it that way because your experiences are unique and your interpretation of those are unique you're going to come up with very interesting uh music and it's going to be very uh it's going it's to resonate with your soul a lot more and then you know if you write something you're really happy with you can always go mix and master it. And even if you're not very good at mixing, you can pay someone to do it for you. So don't worry too much about the production and the uh, the mixing and mastering stage because it can all be done by other people and you can all be taught and, you know, it can be coached and stuff like that. But the, but no one is going to be able to go into your memories and to finding what resonates with you and write the music for you. Only you can do that. That's how you're going to end up writing like inspirational music, unique music, because no one else can do that only you can i think that's a really cool thing to touch on so yeah uh that's the end of the video i just uh, thought it'd be a nice little chat about how inspiration comes about for some of us uh, i really like this method of going into your childhood and looking at stuff like that there's a lot of different emotional things that resonate with me um so yeah please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow cheers